Start out by laying your pillowcase down on a flat surface. I like to then fold it into thirds to make a long rectangle. Smooth out the fabric as you go and then grab one end and bring it all the way to meet the other end. Visually mark out where the next folds would go to fold into thirds. Make your folds to complete. Option 2 is a variation of option 1 but with a tighter fold with force instead of thirds. Instead of bringing the end of the pillowcase to meet the other end, bring it short by the width you want the fold of the pillowcase to be. Mark out your folds and then fold three times to complete. For option three, fold the pillowcase into thirds and then bring one end nearly all the way down to meet the other end, but leave a little gap. Fold the width of the gap over and then fold the opposite end one time, finding the opening in the fold and then fold in the fabric into the opening to create a pocket fold. Adjust as needed. In the final option, option 4, we start out the same way as the other folding methods, but tuck part of the fabric under at one end about the width of the fabric that you want to end up with. Then fold into thirds as previously done for all the other methods. Fold one end to meet the other end just under the ultimate width of the pillowcase. Then fold three times. Seek out the opening and then fold the fabric over itself, adjusting as needed to secure the pillowcase. Once done, find the folded fitted sheet and slot in the folded pillowcases into the pocket fold. Now you have a neat and tidy bundle. If you want to learn how to fold a fitted sheet, check out the video here to learn.